Hello, and welcome to part one of our look at the updated testing module in FreezerWorks 2017. Since the testing module is now fully integrated with the Summit Edition, we thought it best to run through its processes once more. Today, we'll quickly go over what you can expect from the program now that tests are a part of it. The first things you will notice are the two new tabs on the landing page or inventory list view. These are the tests and test results tabs, put here to replace the testing menu that used to occupy a position in the top bar. You can now view and work with both inventory and testing data from the same location. In fact, most, if not all, testing tasks will be performed from the inventory list view now. Using the buttons on the left, you can pick up, complete, and enter results for tests. Above all, this new design will allow you to quickly see the inventory participating in selected tests. Of course, before you can run tests, you will need to configure some. In previous versions, we separated quantitative tests from qualitative ones, but now you can combine any number of quantitative and qualitative metrics in a single test. You can observe a sped up configuration of a test now, or skip ahead to the next section. Once you have set the metrics and the flagging sets, these are all easy to compare in the configured test window. Simply highlight a metric and its information will be displayed on the right. This new way of configuring tests will of course impact the way you enter results. You will now input quantitative and qualitative results for the same test, and thus in the same window. The result column is for quantitative results, and the qual result column is for qualitative results. Any reflex tests that get triggered will display in the corresponding column. The last thing we should quickly go over is the changes to the testing page and system properties. First of all, you no longer have to choose between ordering tests on samples or aliquots. You can select both if you wish. Just remember that changing the selection after tests have already been run can cause data integrity issues. Secondly, use these top three dropdowns to designate fields for your flagging sets. Flagging sets are used with quantitative results to differentiate between types of specimen. Lastly, you will need to configure workflows in order to enforce checkout and check-in protocols with tests. Just make sure to have some templates ready if you check on either of these boxes. If you need any more information, watch our workflow series of videos. Well, that does it for our overview of the updated testing module. Join us in our next video when we take an in-depth look at test configuration. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.